Hi, Dr. Mark Worthington, clinical psychologist. I've got a passion around the history of words and have had for a long time. Not sure why, because I was pretty crap at English language at school. But um, just to give you an example, um, I, love, I love the way language comes together. As you can see my t-shirt here, let's eat. Bob, <laughs> let's eat Bob. <laughs> Just a misplaced a comma there. Or... <laughs> so anyway, so I am very interested in, in um, the etymology of words. In other words, the history of words, the, the meaning behind words or inside words. And the word that often comes up um, in my client sessions is the word resilience. So what is resilience? Well, often a, a common um, sort of informal definition is the ability to bounce back from a stressful situation. And uh, if you look at the word, um, there's often a clue in the word. So you break the words down. So resilience seems to have a, a Latin sort of origin. And uh, so re uh, means again and again, over and over. Um, ents, or uh, yeah, ents, or ens, ents, means a state of, like being in a state of, like in a, in a state of calm, if you like. It can also mean action. Um, and sil, S-I-L, from silence. Right, so it could be in a state of silence over and over again. So, sort of like a state of calm, if you like. Um, that sort of fits with being able to bounce back quite quickly, doesn't it, to a state of calm after a stressful event. If you take still one further and you add an I, so you have silly, which is S-L-I or sil I, um, you have, well, the, the root of silica, which is one of the um, hardest um, minerals in on in on the planet, really. It's used to make glass and what have you, isn't it, really? Which is which is not affected by a lot of chemicals, and that's why medicine is stored in glass bottles. So, um, sil silly or sil can also it's also related to flint. Um, now the stone flint. So again, we have this sort of you know robust hard sort of uh, rock-like substance, right? That can make fire, right? <laughs> it's so hard it can make sparks, right? When it's, it, but when it's, when it's just dormant lying there, it's, it's, it's stable, it's, it's quiet, it looks quite beautiful sometimes. You know, you often used for arrowheads in, in a primitive time, so you know, robust, strong, uh, dependable, you know, and um, so, as a third, a third option is um, silly can can mean to to go forward, to keep going forward. So I like this one too. Sort of like you know to keep going forward over and over again, or a state of um, like a, a sense that we can keep on going forward over and over again, if you like. You know, um, you know, being able to just pick ourselves up brush ourselves off and move forward again and again. And I suppose, you know, if you could combine all those three things, like a state of silence, um, a state of robustness, like, like the flint, a state of uh, being able to move forward, you know, again and again, uh, regardless of what happens to us, you know, all the, these sort of, um, or these meanings within, within the word, seem to encompass our, our, it seem to encapsulate our understanding of re what resilience is really, doesn't it? You know, the ability to just keep on moving forward, brush yourself off and uh, yeah, just, 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 you know, just bounce back really and keep on going in a state of calm. As we're getting back to a state of calm, um, you know, fairly easily, if you like, after we've been challenged by something. Okay, resilience. Thank you. Bye.